hey, PE teachers, do your kids struggle sometimes with connecting what they're doing to actual learning outcomes? Here's one way that we connect it. Stick around, I'll show you how. Welcome to another Mather PE, PE management video. Today I'm talking about visual aids in the gym uh, and most specifically connecting our outcomes for our course into our daily phys ed practice. We all know that PE is meant to be engaging and active and fun and all those wonderful things that we love about phys ed, but we also have to have phys ed with a purpose. And one thing I like to do is try to connect everything that we do to our learning outcomes, and often that's difficult to do without those visual reminders for students. Here's what we've done here at EPEC uh, at my school, and it's worked out fairly well to be able to connect things to it. If you look up here, on the wall, I've got seven outcomes. And when we redid the curriculum a couple of years ago, uh, as part of the renewal team, I decided I'd make some posters. So I took all of our outcomes, got them printed. I created these posters, got them printed at a print shop, had them laminated. It was a little bit more costly, uh, but it did the trick. And now I've got a great visual representation of all of the outcomes that we have in the year. And every time we start a new unit or we're starting a class, I can simply, because we are all located here looking for, to this spot, I can basically point out to any of these outcomes and connect the dots for them so that they have an idea of what skills we're doing or what strategies we're employing or how we can connect it to various outcomes here. And it's a quick reminder at the beginning of every class. Super efficient, it's worked really, really well. It's a nice visual reminder for kids. If you haven't done something like this, give it a try, it does work. If you like this idea, give it a try. See how it works for your students. See if they're able to connect to your outcomes a little bit better, a little more regularly. Let me know what you're doing. Post something in the comments. Tell me what works for you in the classroom. The more we share, the better we can grow. Take care, everybody. See you next time.